In the heart of the African savanna, where the golden grasses shimmered under the relentless sun, there lived a pride of majestic lions. Among them was a proud mother lioness, Nala, known for her fierce protectiveness over her cubs. Her youngest, Simbo, was the source of both her greatest pride and deepest exasperation. Simbo was not like his siblings. From the moment he opened his eyes, he emitted a roar that rivaled the thunder in its intensity. While other cubs played and napped lazily in the shade, Simba roamed around, practicing his roar incessantly. It echoed across the savanna, startling nearby animals, and causing his mother no end of embarrassment. Nalo, can't you do something about Simba's roaring? grumbled Mafasa, the elder lion and leader of the pride, as he tried to rest. I've tried, Nala sighed, her eyes heavy with exhaustion. But he just won't stop. He's determined to be heard. Days turned into weeks, and Simba's roaring only grew louder. He roared when he was hungry, he roared when he was sleepy, he even roared when he was happy. The other lionesses in the pride chuckled at his antics, while Nala tried her best to keep her patience. One scorching afternoon, as the pride lazed under the acacia trees, a herd of zebras passed nearby. Simba, eager to show off his mighty roar, let out a deafening cry that startled the zebras into a stampede. They scattered across the savanna, leaving clouds of dust in their way. Nala! Mafasa roared, shaking his mane in frustration. Enough is enough. You must teach him some discipline. Nala nodded warily and called Simba over. The young cub trotted up to her, his eyes shining with excitement. Did you see that, mom? Did you hear me roar? Yes, Simba, Nala said firmly, her voice tinged with exhaustion. Your roar is strong, but it's time you learned when to use it. Roaring is not just about making noise. It's about respect and responsibility. Simba looked up at his mother, his excitement dimming as he realized the trouble he had caused. I'm sorry, mom. I just wanted to be like you and dad. Nala's heart softened. She nuzzled her cub gently. You are like us, Simba. You have a powerful roar, but you must use it wisely. Now, let's go practice together. And so, under Nala's patient guidance, Simba learned to control his roaring. He discovered that a lion's strength lay not just in its voice, but in its wisdom and restraint. From that day on, whenever he felt the urge to roar, Simba would pause, remembering his mother's words. As for Nala, she watched proudly as her cub grew into a strong and respected member of the pride. And though Simba's roar still echoed across the savanna, it now carried the weight of responsibility and the warmth of a mother's love.